Your nose is very puffy. Did you get a haircut today? You look very nice. Are you going to wreck it? Get your toque on. Good. Get your flame toque. <laughs> Careful. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you didn't understand. We're drawing flames. <laughs> That's it, Mister. <laughs> uh, worst. Uh, okay, so so this is the void in which. Right. So we're gonna have a few different depths of panel here, trying to keep something kind of similar in scale, but like half as uh, as busy because the, the metal flake here does not take to being highly detailed. It just doesn't look good. The tape is barely sticking, we're having just a hell of a time with the tape. It doesn't want to stick to metal flake. I don't blame it. The tape is good. It's just, look at that, it all laid out and it all just fell off. So we have to make this something we can do quickly. So I'm gonna draw, uh, just pencil something so that we can cut it out and quickly transfer it to the other side uh, to avoid having, if the taping takes too long, it all just falls off. So right. We talked about it. We talked about taking the traditional flame and kind of because I drew yeah. one, you saw the one we drew, and it was... Which we liked, but there was lots there. But it was... Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Whereas here, I thought maybe we'll take... Just sit down and try and do this with tape. Oh, oh that looks killer, dude. So we could have these two touch in the middle, like this. Or we could have them, but if they both over, if they both overlap, I don't know. But, or it could just fade out to nothing. Well, I, I don't I don't hate when they fade out to nothing, but I would have them fade out where the tape is there. Here, yeah, yeah. Make right. Them all a little longer. Well, then my fear is that this is getting a little. This one starts to become like unmanageably long. So at that point, I would make this here yeah. and bring this one up. Oops. So. And these ones could end here, and like this, and then I would put, if I made this one a little longer, and this one a little longer, then you have room here to do this. Right. And then, they, then they're gone. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. And then this would just be empty here. Or this guy could come down a little bit. Yeah. And that would be it. So it's very simple. Uh -huh. But I also like the idea of it disappearing behind the next layer here. Mm -hmm. Like going, mm -hmm. it stops at its border yeah. here. Yeah, 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 Same yeah, here. Yeah. So, um, Does that make our life easier or not as easy? None of it makes any difference. I like that a lot more than I like the big tall one. Yep. So now we still have to pick something, but I don't think that's going to be too too hard. 
and that would be pretty easily managed inside the 200 panels. And honestly, I feel like the other one was way too big. Yeah. And that's not quite big enough. But I could be well, told it's fine. I think and I have to. I, I think I have to be. I think for this to work, this style, I yeah. have to look a little bit tight. This is what I mean about modernizing it when we talk about making it look seventies instead of forties. Seventies instead of forties, fifties. Yeah, is that it was becoming highly stylized, even more so, mm -hmm. and and used in a sense out of context. And I love this. To have that. Oh yeah, like how it just all of a sudden it's like, oh there's more there, but we're not showing you. We can have that like that. Yeah, no, uh, that's... This is probably what I was trying to do the first time. I just made, gave myself this whole Too much, space. yeah. And it just ended up looking too fonzy, you know. Like it can't get wider. So whatever you're doing, these two are all have open. to get. Yeah, okay. So you're trying to draw two, you know, and they're not. You can't, you know. Right. They're they're uh, you know, elliptical, so and they're not. So I guess maybe French curves would be the thing. So you got to watch for, and there's no straight lines. And have a straight line, so it's hard to mask them because it's constantly you're moving and you're stretching and like this sand is always moving relative to your other ones. Who the hell's here? Hey, <laughs> hey Dean, hey. what's up, buddy? Wow, this is looking really good. Have you seen it yet in person? No, not yet. Wow, yeah. lots of detail in this thing. Oh, it's a grab. Like the lace. Grandma's tablecloth there. Right. <laughs> Oh, it's great. The flake is heavy. Very heavy on the flake. Wicked. More work here is being done or no? Yeah, that's what we're working on right now. On the oh, other okay. side. We're figuring out the design as oh. to what we want to put down here. Yeah. It can't be nothing. Okay, sure, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'd love your opinion on it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's great, man. Wicked. Yeah, deadly. Sweet. Right? So we're just drawing out some flames. And we got a couple that. borders there. And you have to mimic each side. Wow, that's going to take me forever. Okay. Oh, cool. There we go. Right? Yeah, you need a little flame job there. For, yeah, and I look because. Oh, you know what I like even more? Oh, what? Maybe the flame covers up the border. It doesn't go behind it, it mm. covers it, just pops out a couple of spots. Yeah, Is that less work or more work? Same amount of work. 40 ton of line. Project. Day 742. <laughs> Supplies low. Morale failing. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. We're getting ready to put the candy onto the bottom half of the van and to the background here. This will have some stripes and whatnot, so we just want to put something in the background. Uh, ditto here. Change the flames. To something along these lines, which I think is more of a 70s vibe than what we had. So that's what we're gonna do there. And just more of the usual bullshit. Ditto, kind of like the old bullshit. Right, just rolling around with the tape, put some panels on, uh, flames matching on this side, or at least more or less. That's what we'll tell you. Yeah. Flake is going to fade from black to dark brown to gold to brown to black with no hard edge. So I don't want to just be like a fade away. And we may bring the flames in kind of a similar way. They're going to pop just outside of their cage here in a couple of spots. And then just kind of put one extra one at the back to kind of fill it up. Which may or may not extend past here a little bit. Okay, what do you think? Hit sure. it. Yeah. Let's hit it. Why not? So, Why stop now? first thing we're going to do is go and blend out. We've actually sanded, Ashley rather, has sanded off all of the hard edge here. So that we're going to blend that back with a little bit of black so that we, uh, so that we can make it completely disappear. And then fade from black to brown to gold. And then back out to nothing at the edge here. That's the plan.
and we'll see if that actually works. It'll probably work. You think? I don't know. We got away with it so, so far. far. Right? What right. do you think of just black with orange flames? <laughs> and blue. Yeah, orange and blue and black. It's clear. Yeah. in the edges of the flake, the flake on the flares, the flare flake. And uh, now uh, we're going to shade this from darker to lighter and then leave it mostly gold in the middle. Here we're going to uh, shadow it on the top side here and the bottom side there and the bottom side of the flame things here. And I don't know. Something like that. And then we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do up here. It's still a little bit up in the air. So. Anyway, whatever. And same at the front. These are supposed to just kind of fade in and out, so that'll be cool. Uh, looking forward to seeing that again. Nothing really looks like anything right now. Once this all has clear on it, sitting out under the street lights should look pretty badass. I'm just going around highlighting or shading in rather the bottom half of the flames and you know just I don't know whatever. That's <laughs> about all you're doing. shading finished for the most part and now I'm going to start putting the gold on and that's pretty much been the theme throughout here. The only thing I'm going to be careful with is uh, all these corners coming up still. God damn it. Just cannot get this tape to stick. I'm just ready to give up here. Like, I just got to get this done. It's not sticking pain in the ass. Anyhow. Let's do it. There's the shading finished. Nothing too dramatic, just underneath. And we've got to pull these little pieces of tape off and see that we've shaded out the metal flake on the flares. So let's try some gold here. Uh, Ashley had to go, so I'm going to have to. I'll fill it with the tripod. Why not? There's the menace waiting for me. Hi, menace.
stuff gold on it now. And uh, so I'm pulling the last of the tape for the final coat of gold. And before I can do that, I need to put a few little shadows in. These are uh, where the flames are supposed to look like they're overlapping each other, or in fact the border, trying to get away or whatever. So I'm going to very, very lightly hint at which one's over top of the other. And uh, so we're going to do that really quick. Has some nice depth to it, and should look nice when it's all finished. So I'm going to do that. Pull the final border piece here, and then we'll just we're just honking on gold on the whole thing. So I hope it. Uh, Hope we're able to see it when it's all finished. Polishing it more today? No, I just doing the other one. You're a madman. CB750 custom headlight brackets. So there's the yeah. other one before polishing. Right. Okay, that's just rough. So that's just rough. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> How did you go from there with a file or with a grinder? Uh, a lot of tools. Started with that. Oh my god, yeah. Then to <laughs> files and then to. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, it's lightened it up a lot when you hogged it all out. Yeah. Oh, wow, you can't even tell. So if you got a few minutes, hey, anybody who's got a few minutes to spare can try that. All done by hand, not by CNC. Right. CNCs are the wusses. No CNC. There, it's it's all I've never seen the hand done. Well, good evening. It looks like tonight's light buzz job is these uh, Model T coils, uh, appropriately buzz coils as they're known. Uh, Jim bought me a set at a swap meet and three of them are really good and one is no good. These are what came with the car. So I thought, let's go through a few of these and see if we can get one of them working. Matt has also very kindly donated these capacitors which replace the originals which we can see here. That's the, uh, oops, can we see it? There we go. That guy in there, that great big flat looking thing, will be replaced by this guy here. So, um, we've got a few uh, numbers that we're gonna check out on a few of these to see which ones are repairable. And then once we've established which one we're gonna go for, we will, uh, I'll try uh, chipping one of these guys apart and soldering it up and see if it works. Coils for these Model T's were uh, manufactured by multiple manufacturers uh, aftermarket. can barely read here, uh, Kokomo Electric Company. Uh, not all of the hardware is interchangeable, despite it looking broadly similar. Uh, a lot of different manufacturers and of course manufactured over 20 years, so a lot of Small differences, but they all more or less have to go in the same hole. So let's uh, run a few tests and see what we get. I printed off some Model T coils for dummies stuff here, and I stapled it to the wall so that I wouldn't be constantly having to look it up, because that's how organized I am. If the windings are open, I'm not chipping everything apart to try and fix that. Everything else can be repaired more or less. So. 
Uh, we're just going to clean them, check that the windings are good, uh, check that the condenser is something that we can replace easily, and and then we've got all of this here. Some adjustments, and the uh, yeah, the real test will be whether or not the car starts easily. It was very hard to start last time, and at least one of the coils is very marginal. So, uh, really happy for swap meet stuff, but I think for the sake of a couple of minutes of soldering on each one, if we can double the performance of them, that would be terrific. The resistance across these two posts here should be 3300 ohms. So, mm okay. Oh, we just have no end of clever camera bullshit today. See if we can do all this at one time. Uh, 3300. Good so far. So, as far as we know that it is rebuildable, in the sense that all we're going to really do is solder in that uh, capacitor there, take this guy out, try not to damage anything too badly, and see, uh, you know, clean all this stuff up. It's complete. It's there. Should drop right in. I might file the rest of this off so that it fits in the box nicely. Uh, we're not uh, we're not trying to change the world here. These are kind of fun. Trying to get it apart without damaging anything is a bit of a job, but we got that one off. And when you're, uh, when you're all finished, this guy will slide back in there, and then you got to put two tiny little nails in it. And uh, yeah, so there's a little bit of cabinetry, a little bit of getting dirty, and a little bit of fire and sparks and polishing shit. So it's it's pretty much the perfect job for today. It appears that the installation of these great big capacitors. Uh, requires that we remove at least part of the insulating block that was in between them so I'm not really sure how great that is but uh, uh, anyhow we're gonna try it because these are essentially junk and I need to move the car so let's see if we can get it to go somebody give me 20 bucks I'm just kidding well, got that one lined up so I'm gonna try and solder that guy with the uh, sweet vintage Weller soldering kit, very kindly donated to the cause by Agent 900, and I just love it. Look at the quality of this thing, very heavy. That's a beauty. So, I'm gonna kind of get that one in there, and then we'll kind of sort that one out. It's warming her up here. Everything has been cleaned with thinners now, so. Shouldn't be too far from ready to go. I'm just gonna try this one. If I can get the lid off this shit. Whatever. really nice. Yes, exciting stuff there. Let's get this guy and then put it back together and I'm just gonna file this extra solder off of here where it was where it had hooks soldered to it. I've got the bottom uh, contact soldered back in so I'm just gonna file these We've got this set up. I think the easiest thing to do is chuck it in the car. I'm not going to permanently reassemble it till it's tested. If it uh, if it tests okay, then we'll I don't know figure out uh, how we're going to reassemble this permanently. But for now, that uh, should work. But who knows? We have the T set up here. We've got the key on. Just going to see if we can get a buzz out of any of these guys. And then maybe we can find the one that's done.
think it was number three. Yeah, that was the only one that I did any real amount of work to. So I'm gonna take this one out. These things are tight in here. Ah. These are not going. Could start. Maybe we should try it. again with the uh, with the fuel on
concern about these, but we're getting there. I think we'll do another one. fun. Don't see why we couldn't uh, take this one apart and do the same thing. Uh, this was the one that was not working nice. and uh, yeah I'm gonna do a little more research on these babies and see if we can put four good ones together here because we got to move the tea probably on Monday. Always with this stuff. Should make sure that that's always off. And unhook the battery. And there we go. Well, the closer we get this to good running order, the easier it will be when we decide to tear into it and really make it into something. Uh, I'm looking forward to it more than I can even say. This is just going to be so fun. There's Mini Dog. Would you like to come outside? Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fumes here, Minnie. Where are you going? My friend uh, Richard has dropped by in his, uh, I think it's a 66 Citroën DS and uh, just haven't seen this car in a long time. Just happy to see him driving it. Let's have a look. <laughs> what a treat. Yeah, nice. Oh, this is a nice car, yeah. It really is, and look at how nice it all fits. Yeah, like really nice. Yeah. I, 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 I love that. Well, I like the other one, but I don't know. Is this one? Yeah, you can it go doesn't way. look so. Richard prefers this one. Well, I think so. Like it doesn't look so. I don't know what the right weird. Yeah, weird's not the right word. <laughs> but you look you know, at how detailed this is, eh? Chrome. Oh, you know, Richard got it all chromed up. I put a five-speed transmission in. Which they only made for like, a couple from years. What year? They started to offer it in 71. Huh, okay. So, and it's, it's nice on the highway. Oh yeah, right? Well, they're already pretty good. Like it, it must get it, tremendous it, gas mileage. It quen it quen it's down. You know, yeah, yeah. Well, it doesn't rev. That's the idea. And w d was it rusty to start? No. This no. one was. Very cool. He bought this from Jerry at SM World, right? This oh. was his wife's car. So this is a California, California car. California car, yeah. Nice, clean car, yeah. No, I wouldn't, I mean, putting the effort into it uh, has to be, you know. Has to be and, worth it. Uh, I found one down there, so. So did you paint it or have it done? Did you paint it? Parts of it, right? I don't think we painted the whole thing. It looks nice. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, because that was the paint. I don't think we painted the hood, or I don't remember. I, I don't, we painted pieces of it, I but not the yeah, whole car. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. I, I know we painted the doors. I so. just, you know what got me on this car is the dash. Like it's nice. Hey? Mixture here. Richen her up, clean her out. Yeah, that's great. It's pretty close. Looks yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay. Final set of stripes. Yeah. These uh, 
So of course, yeah, couldn't just leave it alone, had to mess with it. Oh, do you mean like with all this? Yeah, a little bit of extra. Jesus. A little bit of extra <laughs> bullshit. So, uh, I don't know exactly how we're going to do this, but I'm, I think the idea will be stencils, do those first. Then we're going to go around and we're going to shadow the shadow. Then we're going to peel the shadow and we're going to shade the, the piece. That's, so this is on top. See, everything with masking is backwards. So you want this on top of this, you have to do this first. And then once we've done that, then we're just going to put a few coats of gold on and peel the other stuff, uh, whatever, right? Kind of like the rest of it. What do we decide? Fish scales on top or whatever this yeah, is. Whatever that Stencil is. on top. Sunburst on the and, bottom. Uh, the kind of the line thing on the bottom. And then from there, the usual, right?
That's going to have to have two, I think. Yeah. Alright man, let's pull the paper off. Doing it. Not the worst part either. Oh. Uh, kind of fun actually. Kind of waited a long, a yeah. long time for this. Here's what we ended up with on the side stripes. A little bit of uh, extra detail in there just to give it some life. Tonight will be the first time we get to see the whole thing all in one piece, so that'll be fun. Let's see what happens. Actually, do the dangerous part here. Yeah, actually, there's not that much danger. If you're, I mean, if it hasn't peeled or effed up yet, it's not gonna know. So far, so good. This has been drying for quite a while. This top. Oh, the here. black has for sure. Yeah. So everything on these guys here is still pretty fresh. But I really want to get clear on it today because, you know, there's something about a video. We need to clear it today. Is Thursday. Usually Fridays are all editing, so we used a lot of materials. I'm I'm a little shocked, actually. <laughs> Very satisfying. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, literally is the best. You can see a lot of stray metal flake that will all have to be cleaned off. Oh, I screwed up. Saved it. Come on. Yeah, that's good. Now we're getting ready to remask it and start putting it clear. First we're going to blow it all off and then unmask it, then blow it off again and then remask it, then blow it off again. We're ready? Done all of our little touch-ups that we're going to do and we're, that's her. We're out of time and it's time to put the clear. I don't know. I feel like we could have. No, just kidding. <laughs> I think we did everything we set out to do. Yeah, I agree. Including toning down this stripe. Oops. Can I see that? There we go. Yeah, that guy. That guy. These three guys were a little too orange, so Ashley came up with a way to tone them down. That, that was all me. It's my idea. All right, clear time.
That's only one coat, too. Like, that's insanity. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to be good.
more soon on the 1960 Fury project. I just want to bring you guys up to speed on this. What I'm going to do, I need to make some room to do the interior reassembly and repairs and to finish all these moldings. There's just not enough space in here for the car and all of the work that needs to be done. So since winter's coming, I'm going to put the car next door behind the yellow 59, uh, more or less as it sits. And I'm going to do the repairs uh, on the trim uh, in here where it's heated and there's room. So no point in having the car in here when I only really needed to put the pieces on. So uh, lots more coming up on the 60 Fury. Uh, it's obviously stretching a little longer than the original uh, intent, but uh, I've had to do a lot of uh, other jobs in the meantime, and this is for myself, so it uh, has to be at the back of the line. Uh, let's go see what uh, is going on. Building project coming along uh, pretty nicely, actually. Pretty happy with that. Got, uh, let's have a look. Got a new door. Ooh, yeah. Menace dog. And we had it all cleaned up, and then Al started ripping all the shingles off. That does look pretty decent though, hey? It looks correct. This is before. He's just rotten old nice. rolled roofing, so we're going to rip that down and expose the original planks underneath. And then I'll probably take these off and put uh, something transparent so we can see through That's into the other garage. Wow, you guys, look at this, eh? That ever looks sweet. That looks really nice, actually, you guys. Hard to believe it's the same place. Nice work, Al, buddy. Hey, you too, man. None of this would have been possible without you, Scott. Uh -huh. Who wouldn't have made such a big fucking mess? Couldn't have cleaned it up. <laughs> That's right. It's I do my best. <laughs> no, it just looks better. so cool, man. Wait, like not to mention when you walk in this space now, and even doing your shit outside, you have room. Yeah. It's a regular ah, same old shit. Thanks for hanging out with us today, Frank Franks. You're very nice. You got a nice comfy chair?